everyone, it's me, Sally, aka Seller of Tarot Magic, and we're gonna do tarot today. So, as you can see, it is Happy Pride Month, and I have the bi flag behind me because I wanted to speak about my own identity. So, yes, I am here to say that I am bisexual, and not that it needs to be announced, but I needed to say it for myself on my platform on my channel because being married to a male people assume that I'm straight and I'm not and I've known for some time now I'm 35 now and I've known probably since I was 30 years old and I want this channel and people who know me as a person to know that they're safe um, speaking with me coming out to me and I've been thinking about it a lot ever since I did my podcast interview because um, she spoke about how the deck that I use Modern Witch I said I identify with it because there are um, gender roles gender neutral like king can be male or female or whatever and there are same-sex couples on there and I identified with that and she said it's very similar to LGBT and I said yes and listening back to that I felt like I could have said at that moment oh I'm bi but I was afraid and I want to do it now because I actually was ready to do it last year but then everything happened with the pandemic and I didn't want to make these videos about me but this is part this is part of the spiritual journey is embracing every part of who you are so for me I feel like I need to set that example and being biased part of who I am and just because people don't see that on the regular I don't want to hide that and I don't want to I don't want to contribute to that is what I want to say and I really um, I mean that's pretty much it um, I'm very happy about this time and finally like look I even have this shirt not a phase and I'm like there's a moon on it and I'm like this is just you know and I love the colors these are like my favorite colors and I just wanted to get that off my chest and be free be free with that part of me and be true to myself and you know it doesn't matter what other people think or if they don't understand like I literally feel lighter as I speak right now so this is good so let's get into tarot it has been a minute so let me just give a shuffle i have my tarot of the divine deck wanted to give my other deck a break um switch it up and i missed being on here and i felt like am i gonna be a little rusty I don't have my oracle cards and we're doing this for fire signs Aries Leo Sagittarius that's what I always start with and we're back to the weekly forecasts for the fire signs and all the element signs and I am happy to be speaking with you all right so what is the message for fire signs for the week give me five cards what is the present energy Okay, so the first card you have is the Hangman Reversed. So this tells me that you are currently at a crossroads. And this could be regarding your business, um, career relations, or uh, personal relations. So you could be mulling over a big decision, whether switching careers. You may be at um, a turning point in your relationship, and you're really trying to figure out what's best for you. And again, there may be... Um, some people influencing you. I'm not sure whether it's a positive or negative influence. Um, let's get clarity with the other cards. All right, so what is the past energy relevant to this situation? Judgment. <laughs> ha 
So the judgment card is telling me that you're really thinking hard about this before you make a decision and it's important um, other people's opinions may be playing a factor in this and depending on what it is that might not be the best course of action you may need to listen more to yourself um, it's fine that um, people support you in your decision but just know that it should be up to you and only you okay so what is the future regarding this situation wheel of fortune okay so this is telling me that whatever decision you choose that is meant for you and you can't make a mistake so to speak so if it, if you feel that you're afraid you're going to make the wrong decision or make a mistake there are no mistakes in life what you are your path is your path and what you choose to do is what's meant for you so you really can't make mistakes in this situation because say if you change your mind you change your mind but the point is here is to make that choice go with your gut go with your intuition and trust yourself why is this all happening death all right so I'm really getting a full picture here so you are afraid of change and that's probably what's stopping you from making a decision you um, are very attached to your comfort zone and you really are afraid of stepping out but change is a good thing for you in this situation I feel like this change could be leveling up so maybe leaving a partner behind is what's best for you even though you have um, you are attached to the memories or attached to the person and same thing goes if it's a career situation you are attached to um, you know the devil you know so to speak what's the best possible outcome seven of cups Wow <laughs> okay so I'm definitely like this is very 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 clear picture to me so seven of cups is saying that even once you make a decision the possibilities are endless and you're gonna have more control over the situation and and every every decision you make the power is within you and it's in your hands and again it's reinforcing the idea that you cannot make a wrong decision it is your choice just really figure out what it is in your heart um, yeah and I want to show these because like these are very very like I see them associated with each other for sure and that is the weekly message for our fire signs Aries Leo Sagittarius and if you are enjoying my videos please like share and subscribe and for a personal read, feel free to DM me on Instagram. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.